Okay, so by far one of the most common questions I get asked as a podcast producer, as I am in a freelance creative and stuff like that, is how I actually edit my podcast. And this is one that has taken me way too long to address. And as I was sitting here about to get into my editing flow for a podcast for a little, this one was actually going to be a school project that I did. But I finally have a podcast I'm about to edit. And I decided I'm just going to let you guys in on kind of a behind the scenes, I guess, of exactly what it is that I'm doing while I'm editing my podcast. This is going to give you an overview of the entire process. I don't plan on going too specifically into anything, but if any specific questions come up along the way, leave them in the comments, do stuff like that. Before I dive into it, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, do that type of stuff and let me not waste any more time here. So as you can see, I work in Adobe. I work in Premiere Pro. I'll be working in an audition a little bit to do this. And I opened up my files here. This religion peer assignment is the project that I'm going to be working with right now. And I'll start here actually by explaining this a little bit. So for just about every podcast that I do these days or every video that I do these days, even on YouTube, I'm going to have a folder for the assignment. And then I'm going to break the folder down into audio and all the different camera angles that I have. Maybe I'll add another folder for a thumbnail if it's a YouTube video and I'll break my stuff down like like that and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to highlight all these you can see i've got two audio tracks in here and the three camera angles that i used for this video and i'm going to pull them all into the project just like that and it's going to create bins for me and it's going to be all nice and smooth and what i'm going to end up doing is i'm going to end up making a multi-camera sequence out of this project so what i need to do in order to do that first of all is i need to actually get the camera angles that i want so this can get tricky because my camera does this thing right here first of all i'm going to set the timeline i'm going to set the timeline by dragging just one of these onto the timeline this is gerard say hi to gerard there i'm going to pull that in and then this is actually just going to be a secondary clip they just run together because cameras do that and then i'm going to nest these two and i'm going to call this gerard cam or something like that okay gerard camera and then i'm going to take these off and i'm going to do the same thing for these other ones just to get everything kind of pieced together right and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take all these and i'm going to make a sequence out of these three so i'm going to select all three of them go here go to create camp multi-cam source sequence i usually leave this name whatever it is you can find a more in-depth tutorial by clicking on the card that'll add to the video but that should synchronize all of these and turn them into a multi-camera sequence for me there we go so now we have those clips are all processed with each other and we've got our multi-cam sequence so i'm going to drag that onto the timeline toggle on the little multi-cam mode and now you can see just by pressing the one two and three buttons i can switch back and forth between these camera angles as the time goes on now this should be the camera one audio right now which i believe is gerard's camera so whatever audio this was picking up that entire time is what this audio is right here but i don't want that audio i want better audio so i've got zoom tracks three and four here i don't even know which one is which which one's gerard and which one is me but one of them is one and the other and the thing they have to remember here is that these two tracks should be in sync with each other because I'm using the Zoom H6 audio recorder to record them. If you don't have a Zoom H6 or any sort of audio recorder like that, get one if you're serious about doing a podcast that's going to save your life. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag either one of these, it doesn't matter which one, onto the timeline. And I'm going to highlight both audio tracks and I'm going to click synchronize. I'm going to synchronize them by the audio. I'm going to hit OK. This is going to go through this processing process again. And then hopefully in a perfect world, if nothing goes wrong, it'll sync it up to that audio and then we'll have better audio. That's at the end of the day, that's what happened. Right. And that worked like a charm. So now what's going to happen here is I'm going to take the other track and I'm just going to line it up with the beginning of that one. And those two, like I mentioned before, should be in sync with each other. I'm going to cut it off right where those start because that's not going to be very useful right there. I'm going to get rid of this one and then bam, bam, bam there's all that good stuff happening so now we should have decent sounding audio underneath the video tracks now what i would do at this point and i don't want to sit here and have you guys watch this whole process is that i'll take both these audio tracks and i'll edit them in audition i'm just very familiar with audition at this point because when i started podcasting i used audition for my podcast i had an audio only podcast where i didn't do video all the time you can conceivably edit these in Premiere Pro, there's nothing wrong with doing that. You can add like a little subtle bass boost and match loudness to a certain extent and so on and so forth. Audition is obviously just an audio editing software. It's more in depth. So I like to use Audition to edit my audio. So let me do that real quick. All 
All right, so at this point, we should have our audio fairly taken care of. We should have everything else taken care of. So at this point, all I would do is I would just go through and switch the camera angles. All I do for that is I press the play button, and then this camera right here is going to be assigned to the one key on the top row of the keyboard. I don't even have a number pad, but if you do, that never works. Use the top row of the keyboard. Use your left hand. That's how you do it. And then this guy would be two, and this guy would be three. So I would just play through like this, and... And then I just do that for the entire time. And once I get to the end of that, I'll, of course, export the video. Probably just be using like a YouTube 1080p preset for this one. There's nothing insanely new and innovative about the way that I'm going to export this. So I'm not going to stick around for that. And that's all that there really is to it. I mean, in an actual podcast episode, I probably throw in like a little intro title or lay some music underneath. Now, let me just address, I guess, there are a couple of questions that when people ask me what my process is for editing, I think there are a couple of more specific questions that they actually want the answer to. And I think the first and foremost one is how long does it take me to edit the podcast? So usually my podcasts are longer than this. First of all, this one's like 20 minutes. They're usually one, two, or maybe even three hours long. I do very long form content, especially when I'm doing podcasts. And when I'm doing them in this style, they'll usually take me like a little bit longer than what the episode actually is. So if it's a two hour long podcast, I don't make a lot of cuts to these or anything like that. I really just watch it through and switch the cameras and you're switching the cameras in real time when you use multicam editing. So like it takes me two hours ultimately to edit the podcast. And then when you add in the little bit of like audio editing, like I just did in this video and that type of stuff, maybe it bumps it up to two and a half hours, maybe three hours, you know, maybe an extra like half hour to hour beyond what the podcast actually is. Now there are podcasts where you have to cut out a lot of ums and ahs. There are other podcasts where you have to cut out major sections, this, that, and the other. And those do take more more time. So, I, you know, I don't want someone watching this and thinking that I just don't try or whatever the case may be. But for the basics of getting a podcast up and out there and looking, this is all that you have to do. You have to have an editing software. You can do basically the same thing in Final Cut or in anything that you might have with the multi-cam editing. Get a couple of cameras. You need multiple cameras set up, preferably three of the same ones. Also note though, when it comes to how long does it take for me to edit a podcast, a big part of that answer has to do with like, well, how well was it actually recorded in the first place because the less that you take care of in the recording the more you're going to have to take care of in post-production so if you have any more specific questions i will break them down into further videos but i need to know what those questions are leave them in the comments subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already i'm doing these videos like all the time now and they're super fun and i want to keep doing them anyway but i don't know just join me for the ride i don't know it's, it's youtube do the things that's all i got that's it for for this video i think i'll probably i might hang the mic up and forget that there was something else that i should have mentioned as i go and edit the rest of the now what